Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, it's gonna be a room tour. Um, it's not 100% done, but I would say it's probably like 95% done. There's still kind of like certain things I wanna add and certain things that I need to fix. But I figured since it's pretty much almost done, I might as well just show you. So I guess we'll get into it. This is my table. So the table here, I got it on OfferUp and that's just an app where you can kind of buy stuff from people in your area. I got it for 20 bucks. And the metal piece, it was originally like a brassy color, so we spray, spray painted it gold. And towards the end of the video, I'll kind of show you a clip of me and my husband kind of spray painting and painting the room as well. And it's a glass top. I thought it was it's pretty good for 20 bucks. Anyways, moving on to this little lamp here. I found it at Goodwill and I just loved the detail on it. I figured if it perfect. So my theme was pretty much kind of that um, vintage feel, but I wanted a lot of kind of like gold accents. I love gold, real fake gold, I don't care. So um, that was kind of the route I was taking. Next you have this pretty cool skull that I found at Ross. Uh, this guy was $7. It's glass, what sold me was this gold tooth. That was perfect. And then you have this beautiful centerpiece that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so I got it for, I think it was like seven or eight dollars. But it's a very sturdy piece. And it's kind of like a blushy pink. It's, I don't think it's really reading that color on camera. And then these two candles back here I found out Ross. I think it was like six dollars for both, five dollars for both. Moving on to this little vase here. This is actually my bouquet from when I got married, so that was about two years ago. Um, and the little strap that kind of goes around the bouquet, um, I feel like it fit, it fit right in with the whole vintage feel. And then this little guy, this little rock, it's supposed to be a candle holder. Haven't found a candle for it yet, but I will, but it was like three, four dollars at Ross as well. Moving up to one of my favorite pieces, is this little guy here. We found him at Ross for $40, and I just absolutely love all of the detail on it. It's pretty heavy too, so I'd be scared if it fell. That would be bad. On this bottom shelf, I wanted to showcase my Selena collection. I don't have a full collection, but I have some of it, and I wanted to showcase it because I don't want to use it. I just want to have it forever. Moving to the middle shelf, I found this little plant. I think it was at TJ Maxx for maybe like $4, and it's fake, obvi. And then I found this little frame at Ross for $3, $4, and I just put a little Polaroid of me and my little Aquila. Don't mind my nails. It's been rough. And then these two little um, honeysuckles, is that what they're called? I don't know. Found these guys at I think TJ Maxx. They were probably like two dollars each, and then this um, candle. It's hickory clove, and it's TJ Maxx three bucks, and it smells absolutely amazing. Oops, sorry, Sims. And then I keep move. Jeez, dogs. And this piece pretty much sits on top of the table. And moving on to my curtain so this is one of the things that i kind of have to adjust is this bottom portion it's very long so i had to um fold it and i have to sew it i have to cut it and sew it i still need to do that i've been meaning to and my husband was actually the one that picked this out and i was a little iffy at first but then when i put it together i was like yep this is it one thing i would say about decorating your room or your living room anything like that if you're unsure of a piece when you see it at the store, don't just leave it. I honestly would say buy it and put it in the place that you wanna see how it looks because it's hard to kind of tell if it's gonna go. It's a lot easier if you buy it and you just place them wherever you think that you would like them to go. If you don't like it, you can always return it, but that is like a tip of mine to buy the damn thing because you just never know, you know? Next is this very long, big mirror. I don't know the measurements, but I'll link them down below. 
found them at Kirkland's and it was on the sticker it said it was I think it originally was like a hundred dollars 120 but we found them for eighty dollars and then when the lady rung it up at the register it came out to 60 bucks so I was like hey 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 so that was definitely a happy moment for me and it's kind of hard to see but it's kind of like a brownish goldish color I want to say and that is my ring light and moving on to this little corner here there's more lights over there and my little table over here where I use it to record and then this um, whole table I found it at Ikea it's a computer desk if you can't really tell from that leg right there it was I think it was eighty dollars almost positive it was eighty dollars and they didn't come with knobs um, it didn't come with any type of knob so these knobs I found them at Hobby Lobby they were 50% off so they came out to like three dollars each and my husband just drilled a hole through it and gave me some knobs. This guy we found it at Ross. I think it was 20 bucks, $15. I don't remember, 25 maybe. It was originally silver, but we spray painted it gold with that same spray paint um, we used for the table. And then moving up here, this uh, mirror I got as a gift, but I'm thinking of finding a gold one just to tie in with the theme. And then this little guy is where I put my beauty blenders. We found them at TJ Maxx for three bucks. It's very heavy. These guys uh, is where I pretty much put my makeup brushes, obviously. I found them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then this guy we found at Ross for 10 bucks, I wanna say. And it didn't come with a candle, but this one we bought it separately at Ross as well for maybe like $3. And then, just a little picture over here. And this, I gotta put some flowers in there. Still need to do that. Moving on to my favorite part of the room is pretty much where you're gonna see, pretty much where I'm gonna be recording. It's gonna be in this area here. The sofa we found at World Market for, it was on sale for $320 originally. It was, I think, $500 or $600. The legs, they were originally a very dark brown. It's wood. We spray painted it again with that same spray paint. These pillows, that middle one, is a really pretty embellished pillow we found at Home Goods for 24, 25 bucks. The two side pillows we found at Ross, $10 each. And they're reading more taupey, but it's, it's really kind of like a purple pink, I wanna say. A lavender, I guess, I don't know. And then the back part of the couch, there are these like really cute buttons and they're all kind of different colors. And moving up here, these are all a bunch of actual frames that I kind of just took out the glass and put them up as wall decor. That middle sign, the let go and let God, amen to that. Uh, that was from Hobby Lobby, it was $7. And then the top one was $6. The two side ones were I think $7. And then that bottom one was uh, five, four dollars. But I, th I'm still wanting to add more gold pieces, like maybe in these areas, um, just to kind of fill in those gaps. But stay tuned for seeing this more as my background. And then this little light switch kind of cover thing. Found him at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. It was $5. Um, the other screw didn't want to go in, so I was just like, leave it. But um, that's pretty much everything that I have for my beauty room. Again, it's not 100% done, but it is close to being done. And I absolutely love the way that it's coming together. Oh yeah, and we did paint this wall. As you can see, it's kind of like a lavender I want to say. You'll see towards the end of this video the clips of me and my husband painting and spray painting as well. If you have any questions on the items please leave them down below. If you have suggestions on any other videos that you guys would like to see again leave them down below and please don't forget to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Oh my hands getting so tired. Yeah so I will check you guys in the next video. Bye! Dun, 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 dun. No, no.
So I am in my little makeup slash beauty room. We're gonna get ready to paint this wall right behind me, which is where my the what is this called? Dusk vanity goes. We got one. It's called Goodnight Kisses. It's supposed to be like a like a purple, pinkish, whitish color. Hopefully the color shows and it's not too light. But that's what we're doing right now is pretty much getting ready to paint this wall. And then um, once that's painted, I'm gonna spray down some stuff with a paint spray. It's gonna be gold. Just certain things here and there, which I'll show you guys later. of the contrast when it's against this wall. I pretty much did all the work. He just did the trimmings around and I did everything it made. <laughs> what? You're laughing because it's true, huh? And the paint that I used was this one here. It's Valspar Signature Eggshell Interior. The color is um, Good night kiss. And we just got um, a quart, I think, for just this wall. We just got done spray painting this table. I found it on, I think it was, I think it was Offra, Offra Up. It was like 20 bucks. It was like a brassy color, but we painted it, painted it, spray painted it gold. And that glass piece goes on top of it. And then this was my stool that I have, which was silver and we spray painted that as well. And the spray paint that we use, this premium metallic 18 karat gold by Krylon. We found it at um, Hobby Lobby. I still have to spray paint the little love seat that we bought. Um, I'll show you guys that later. I just wanna spray paint the legs on the sofa. It's like a really dark brown wood and I'm gonna spray paint that 18 karat goat. Basically the theme of my room is gold, white, and like this purple blushy pink, I guess. Just out of pop of color. And there's my doggies. There's my old man Simba. And Akila. 